know it's been a long time since I last made a video. I just wanted to say school got a lot <laughs> really fast. I'm in a pretty dense semester, so I was just like really overwhelmed and I just needed to bunker her down. I think I'm getting the hang of like balancing YouTube and school. Girl, what? I'm also probably like during the terms and stuff, I will not be doing YouTube because it's just too much, but I'll like still film. It's just like the editing proportion that's a lot. So anyway, this video is going to be like how I read a lot of books in university slash how I study slash read with me kind of just like a life update as well like there's some footage from just like my life but yeah i hope everyone has a great day and i hope you guys enjoy this video there's currently a snowstorm right now you can't even tell like it, you can't it doesn't do justice I just love doing that. Denial is a river in Egypt. Hey guys, I'm just about to go to bed. I went to the library for six hours today, so I haven't really read. I've just been doing school all day. Well, not all day. I went from like, 11 to 5 and then i came home at 8 and i just been like doing nothing so tomorrow my sister's coming up to tour my school and then after i'm gonna go to the library with my friend and then after that i'm gonna try to read i'm trying to read this book pretty fast because i'm planning on doing a book talk video coming up soon like book talk books are they worth it are they not kind of thing Hey yo, shout out to Mia, Mia, yo. I find that reading before bed is so good because you just calm down. It gives you a routine. I just love reading before bed. I do the Pomodoro method or Pommy, that's what me and my friends call it. So it's usually 25 minutes of work and then five minutes off. I do that a lot, especially during exam season when you have long days of work. But then you do that four times. Basically like you work for two full hours and then you have a 15 minute break. So I could read during that 15 minute break. I highly recommend that method. Honestly, it really just keeps your mind focused on the goal. And then during that five minutes, you can use it as a washroom break. You can get up, do a couple squats. Or you could literally just like, I don't know. Also, I'm currently breaking out really bad and it's really affecting my self-esteem. But I'm trying skin cycling. So I'm on day two. I'm in the exfoliation day. So it's like you do retinol the first day. Um, exfoliate the second day, like chemical exfoliate, not actual physical exfoliating. And then the next two days are going to be just as moisturizing. I'm excited to see if anything changes. Um, I'm also not eating dairy for a week to see. This is just for all the skincare girlies out here slash all my friends from home who like do not get updates about my life. Sorry y'all, I suck at communicating. Anyway. Y'all, as I was just filming that skincare thing, I just bent the shit. this book. This book isn't even mine, it's Becca's. Shiza. Also, if you guys are wondering why my hair is white, I just spray shampoo, dry shampoo my hair before bed. And I know my Aunt Chris is shaking in her boots and probably my mom too, because you're not supposed to go to bed with dry shampoo on your roots. Y'all, I don't care. Y'all. If you read It Ends With Us, you know, you know Ryle. And let me just say, I can't say anything because I don't want to spoil anything in this book, but... Uh... 
that's all I gotta say. Yeah. Guys, I just want to say that after I posted my last video, I got so much love just from like friends and family. And honestly, that just warms my heart that I'm making some people's day. And whoever's watching this, I just want to wish you a great sleep. And I know if you're watching this before bed, if not, I hope you have a great day. Also, why is my voice changing? Guys, Colleen just has a way. Like, I feel every emotion that Lily is feeling. Like, I'm scared, I'm concerned, I'm in love, I'm vibing, I'm having a good time, I'm a mother. Like, it's just so amazing, and I love Colleen. Hi guys, I just woke up, but last night I could not get my brain to calm down. So I started on page 15, and now I'm on 110. And I love this book. I know that this book is controversial, but I think it's really good. Hey guys, I just came back from the library. I was there for like five hours. I was there from like one to five, JK, four hours. And yeah, I just studied the whole time there. I'm probably gonna study a little bit before dinner. Probably not, honestly. It's the first week, I don't really care that much. But then I'm probably gonna read. I was relaxing, but it's about nine o'clock. I'm just about to like brush my teeth, do my night routine, and then I'm going to read for probably like an hour or so. I'm loving the book so far. This book is actually really good. Everyone's like, this book was unnecessary. I love it, but yeah, I had a long day today, a long Sunday at least. I, I went to the library for like five hours. My biggest tip for people in school, like university students, being like, I don't have time to read, you have to find the time and also look at your screen time and like on TikTok especially, and then just use it to read. I think reading is so beneficial. It makes my vocabulary better. I cannot spell better. That's the one like advice about me. I have a lot of vices. A lot of vices, but. I cannot spell to save my life. I feel like reading, I'm just much more efficient in other aspects of my life. I feel like I'm just on top of everything when I'm reading. I don't know if that makes sense if that's a mental thing, but when I read during the day, I feel like I'm more productive when I'm studying. I feel smarter too, which maybe is like a placebo effect. I don't know. I highly recommend reading. It makes you just feel so much smarter. So guys, I look the exact same as I did last night, except I don't have dry shampoo in my hair. I like to wear the same pajamas like two nights in a row. I don't know if that's like controversial. Comment that down below. Am I weird? Y'all, you know what'd be lit? Feeling love like this. Hey guys, I have a life hack. I'm currently in my car right now, waiting for it to defrost. And as you do that, you come out like 10 minutes before read during those 10 minutes i'm also on page 191 it's so good also there's still dry shampoo in my hair i'm a mess this morning went by way too fast for me i hate canadian winters and i'm probably gonna have to scrape my car okay y'all i think i'm a morning person i'm so chipper and cheer today i have an 8 30 to 10 30 and after that i'm going to go to the library till 1 15 ish and then walk to my next class yeah hey guys i also 
wake up sometimes earlier to read. So I have, I normally wake up at 6.50 if I have class at 8.30, but right today I woke up at 6.30 just to have some extra time. So I'm gonna get changed and then I'm gonna sit in my bed and drink a coffee and read and stuff, so yeah. listen to my voice that's concerning but good morning do y'all know that girl Bethan? anyway i am about to read for like a while so come join me on this journey since I last filmed a like talk with me but I'm basically almost done this book it is so good I don't think this second book was needed to the series but this Rebecca I'm really sorry I did get a little spot of Nutella on it because I've been eating my English muffins I have a little English muffin with Nutella every morning all the girls would know no but yeah I'm like basically done I have like two pages left but I kind of just like refused to finish it this morning. I also woke up at 6.30 for no reason. Like I could have slept in till at least 7.45. But then my class was canceled. I was like, bro, I could have slept in actually a long time. But I didn't. I should have though. Because tomorrow I have an 8.30. But anyway, besides the fact, this book is really good. Highly, highly, highly recommend Hi everyone, I kind of took a hiatus, but I did finish It Starts With Us, and oh my gosh, I really enjoyed it. I would give it a 4.5 star. I love the romance. Do I think this book was needed though? No, like I really like the way It Ends With Us ended. However, I think this book was perfect. I think it also tells a good story about domestic abuse and like the after effects of it. Um, yeah, it's really eye-opening. I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, just like make sure you check the trigger warnings. If that stuff affects you for both of those series or both of those books, I would read it. I just want to say that the male character in this book, sometimes it's a little too cheesy. Like the writing, I'm just like, wow, like in, if this was real life, I'd be grossed out. But it's okay because it's a book. But right now I'm reading Hope, Line, and Sinker. I literally just started. I really like it. There's like text messages and it's like for like a couple pages and you get to understand like how they were talking before. So I like that. I'm gonna read as I wake up and then I gotta go to the library. But yeah, all is well in the book community. Hi guys, I just, Literally, this is the night after I posted my second video, and I just want to say I'm so grateful to have so many people in my life who can support me, and I'm so grateful that I have just, like, the ability to do this and not feel, like, I don't know, it's just in a very emotional journey just getting here, and I'm just so utterly grateful just to have so many good people in my life and so many supportive people in my life.